Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery. And this is going to be a little complicated for me. Um, I have all these colors and they've been sitting around for maybe, I don't know, some months, let's say. And I want to do blooms again. I've got a couple 10 by 10 inch canvases. I have used some of the primary elements art pigments from Color Art. And my favorite that I used when I was doing this before was um, Mango Mamba. And it turns out from that beautiful pumpkin color to this beautiful mango yellow color, same color as the fruit. Um, in this case, I used the polypore, the vivid, and uh, we'll see how I like that. But I'm going to be mixing it up with everything else that I've usually used. Um, my cell activator in this case right now is going to be three quarters carbon black fluid, golden fluid. Yeah. Light fastness, because whatever. Um, so it's by Golden, and it's not the it's not the most liquidous one. It's the second one down. So I'm going to put those aside for right now. Um, this you just follow the instructions on the bottle. These are what I put in my bottles, and instead of stirring things every time and storing them in containers, um, I just give them a bit of a shake. And I'm kind of counting on the fact that I'm hoping <laughs> against hope that I don't get much air in and if I do and if I do get some air in my solution to that is to squeeze it out through the squeeze bottles. Now I've got paint that I did the same thing with that I may not be so lucky with and I'm going to use the black paint and it's looking fairly well mixed. I did have to shake it which might be a problem but you don't have to so that might not be a problem for you. I'm going to break the rules right out of the gate give it a little tiny bit of a pop. Now because I'm going to do a swipe, and I do see a lot of air bubbles, because I'm going to do a swipe, I'm going to give myself permission, instead of a huge puddle of paint that I have to pour away, I am going to spread it with my OXO omelet turning spatula, knowing that also that helps get rid of the bubbles. I can still see a lot of bubbles. Not sure what I should be doing about the edges. But for right now, I think this is going to be fine. I'm going to try and be fairly quick. I do have a pour pan under me and little smaller and smaller dishes from Michael's like this that I will scrape my spatula off or my little swipe tool, whatever that might be. I'm going to use my edge of my spatula and push that paint right over the edge because it's house paint it adheres a whole lot better than my usual pouring mixture. You have no idea how this is going to go. I, I kind of wonder if um, the mango and the blue will make green, but I think I, I have some wonderful turquoise left from before, and I think that turquoise was... Uh, it was probably the peacock that's a mica powder that is on my Amazon link. I am so looking forward to using my primary elements. I have been remiss, to say the least, since I moved inside. When I got my selection, I was still outside. And I have since moved indoors. I haven't been here all that long. And I'm still getting used to it. So, I'm going to knock that paint off. i put that back where it's more easily dealt with. I'm going to throw that in the bucket. And I am going to go ahead. Now, what else did I do? I did, I mixed some Arteza gold because I was out of my decor 24 karat gold. Now, I don't usually, that looks very thick. I, I, that's supposed to be cell activator thickness, I believe, with three quarters slow troll, but it's not looking that thick to me. And I have shaken all of my paints. And I know everyone else who does blooms, or nearly everyone else who does blooms, definitely lays them all over the top. Whoa. Lays them all over the top of each other. And I don't recall having used that many black backgrounds. This was, I, I saw that. <laughs> I don't want that in there. Thank you. I have tweezers. Oh, that was a good reminder to get the tweezers out of the bucket. 
So I soak my tweezers and they're stainless steel and they're on the Amazon link under the link tree. And I love these tweezers for cleaning the tips out of bottles. And they're wet, so I'm drying them off. And I am going to use what I was about to use, which is the blue. I think it's a Modern Masters. So we are taking our chances with the, with the green factor. And maybe they're not my favorite colors right now. We'll see what happens. I want to squeeze a little bit of that out. Yeah, so make sure I don't have just liquid. Maybe one more little shake. And I can see some bubbles there. Now I had white pearl. I know I used to have some white pearl. I wonder what happened to it. I don't think that's it. I keep flipping things into my work. All right, so I think what I'm going to use for cell activator is going to be the purple flash. And also some of this new carbon black. If the top will come off. And I think I meant to cut a swipe card, but I didn't. So I'll just do that right now. What I meant to do, honestly, was to put some of that carbon black right into a little container and dip it and see what happens when I do that. I really want some white. And I know I used to have some pearl, and I don't seem to have that, but uh, right now I'm just going to continue on. I may tip this, I may not. Those are some awesome cells. I like dipping the card. And there we go. <laughs> I'm a little distracted because I haven't done this in such a long time. And I have a damp rag I can wipe my card off on. I really still want some white in there. What am I going to do about that? I've got some white cell activator. And I'm going to try it with the card. And if, I, if the card is too wide, I'll just make a smaller card. And that might be kind of cool. It's not going to look like anybody else's, that's for sure. All right, so I put my, my cell activator in the same dish I want to scrape off with. I like that. That's pretty cool. I wanted to see what would happen if I just used cell activator over black for a while. I really like dipping the card. I'm going to wipe that card off again. Like I said, I'm loving that. I'm going to do it again. I think I'm even going to do it here. Keep trying to move my dish around. Yes, I think that's a fantastic combination. I'm really, really pleased with that. Um, it makes me want to do both together. Very neat patterning. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> I like it when things work out. I know everybody does. I'm just going to use the corner of that card very briefly. So that's nice that my cell activator works. And then I can make funky, funky patterns. Ooh, baby. I'm excited now. I don't know, I, I kind of think maybe I need to keep some negative space. So I'm going to try my best to stop myself from over going overboard. I can use the cell activator, I think, to just add a little bit, a few more white lines here or there. And the black, which seems to be much blacker than that house paint, but my, my house paint is Walmart Colorplay Semi-Gloss, 
so you'll understand. It looks like it's gray right out of the jar. Couldn't stop myself. I had to dip into some of that other color and see what would happen. So that is pretty neat. I really, really like that. And I see no, no gold, but plenty of that mango. And there's nothing going to keep me from trying a little straw action for maybe a spiral or two. My version of Blooms. I really want to take my basting brush and try Let's see what happens when I do that. I'm not sure I like that. I'm not sure I hate it either. Don't need much over here. I've got some great cells in there, and I think I should be satisfied <laughs> before I ruin something good. I didn't tip. I did put GAC 800 into my white paint, but I don't think I put it into my black. So I'm going to throw that in the bucket. I'm going to say I do sell my artwork. And my email address is below the link tree. The link tree is the first blue link under the video. It has Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, my, my website, um, Sachi Art. PayPal and Patreon, should you happen to be somebody who can afford to help support the production of videos at the studio, just know that if you are a contributor to the studio, you will be automatically included in the monthly drawing, and the monthly drawing in August is in the fourth week, but um, you can always see what the prizes are on the end screens of any video for any given month, because I change them out every single month at the uh, correct exhibition video, which is where you'll find those. That is way cool. I really like that. I'm tempted to swipe over here, but I kind of like that little block of color in there, too. So let's do something else before I'm completely gone. Let's use a little bit. The nice thing about this golden magenta, quinacridone magenta, is that... Um, do I have any white left? And I've got a palette knife, too. So let's just grab a little bit more of that... Yeah, I like that, and I may be not done. <laughs> I interrupted myself. I know I did. I'm sorry. And even though that's the cell activator, my temptation is to go ahead I haven't used palette knife much for a long time, but um, in lieu of using a skewer, I might as well. A lot more people understand the ease of palette knives. And I know I'm not supposed to torch, but I already torched once, and I'm going to torch again. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery, saying thank you for the thumbs up. I really appreciate that. I'm going to try and give you guys a close-up if I have enough time left. And I know this was a swipe, kind of a different kind of swipe, but I love it. It's so fun. It's a fun bloom. I don't see anything that I need to get rid of, and I'm going to drag my little stool over so I can hop up on it and give you guys a close-up because there's beautiful cells in there. I love you guys. There's almost 90,000 of you. I want to thank you so much. I'm going to try and move that toward this. Another good reason to use that tray. There we go. That's as close as I can go, but I could probably move forward and backwards. So I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I'm going to go that way. I'm going to go this way. Nice, nice cells. Let's see if I can make my turntable work for us instead of making you seasick. All right, you guys. There's over 1,500 videos, and you can find them on playlists, on all, all playlists and creative playlists on my YouTube channel. Uh, there are no longer email notifications, so if you're subscribed, you're going to have to maybe find my Pinterest board with all the videos I post there, or uh, check the Facebook group, Expression to Start Studio Gallery Appreciation Group on Facebook for students. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? There are other links there to Facebook groups on the, on the link tree link. 
I want to thank you guys for all the wonderful comments and thank you for all the support you've given me over time, helping me stay on YouTube and create videos for you. I love you. Bye for now. Priscilla out.